Like the iconic original, the Resident Evil 4 Remake features the fan-favorite shooting range minigame. However, this revamped side hustle is dramatically different than its classic predecessor. If you're struggling to improve your firearm finesse, here's how to get the best score in the new and improved Resident Evil 4 shooting range. The shooting range is an optional bonus activity run by the merchant in Resident Evil 4. First available in Chapter 3, this arcade-inspired contest allows you to test your shooting skills across 12 unique courses unlocked as you progress through the main campaign. There are four specific merchant locations where you can participate in the shooting range minigame. The Merchant's Hideout, located in the village, the Grand Hall of the Castle, the entrance to the mines in Chapter 11, and within the facility area of the island. If you're unsure which merchant locations contain the shooting range, be on the lookout for the Telltale Decorative Elevator or the shooting range icon on your map. To partake in the Wooden Pirate Blasting festivities, travel down the elevator and head towards the shiny bell on the game counter. From here, you can select the challenge you wish to tackle and chase those high scores. While freely experimenting with Leon's arsenal of weaponry can be a great deal of fun, the main reason to engage with the shooting range is to earn silver and gold tokens. Your payouts will be determined by the score requirements highlighted on each shooting range challenge. These special tokens can then be inserted into a coin machine to get random charms. Charms can be attached to your attaché case and provide passive bonuses with tremendous benefits. The Legendary Striker, for example, can increase Leon's base movement speed by 8%, which is incredibly useful if you're chasing those S-plus speedruns. It's important to note that you can only equip three charms at any given time, so it's in your best interest to swap them based on your current resource needs. Silver and Gold Capsule types are awarded for inserting tokens into the machine. The game implies that inputting more gold tokens gives you a higher chance for rare charms. And while that's generally the case, your payouts are predetermined for each playthrough. This means that resetting your save won't change the outcome of your prize. However, mixing up the combination of tokens you insert, like 2 gold and 1 silver versus 3 gold, will result in a different charm. And if you run out of tokens in a single playthrough without getting the charms you're looking for, you can simply complete the shooting range challenges again in New Game Plus for more chances with the token machine. Now that we've covered where to find the shooting range and why it's worth completing challenges, let's discuss some crucial tips to help you chase those high scores. First up, you should make shooting skull targets a priority. These reward massive bonus points and provide an additional gold token if you can hit every single one in a shooting range minigame. Their placement can be a bit tricky sometimes, so be sure to check behind barrels and on the backs of spinning targets. Next, it's essential to learn the patterns of each course. The game actively tries to trick you into firing at innocent sailors or wasting unnecessary ammo. Shooting the dynamite held by TNT pirates will detonate all enemies on the screen, which can mean the difference between reaching the bonus round and not. It's also worth noting that you only have time to reload twice during a shooting range course, once when prompted by the merchant and another at the start of the bonus round. Ensure you strategically land your shots so you don't get caught reloading when enemies are on the screen. While some courses only feature a single weapon, several introduce multiple firearms for precise reasons. Understanding how your guns react to enemies is critical to overcoming the later courses in the shooting range. The SMG works well for barrels and lines of enemies, while the riot gun can effectively dispatch small clusters of pirates. Finally, pay close attention to the bonus round requirements. Frequently, it's as simple as shooting every pirate you see, but rare instances demand clever strategy. Perfecting a course, hitting every skull target, and achieving an S rank almost always requires you to reach the bonus round. And that does it for our quick tips on landing shooting range high scores in Resident Evil 4. For more on Resident Evil 4, be sure to check out our full review and growing collection of guides. And for everything else gaming, keep it here on IGN.